Chapter 501, 72 Transformations As the incantations were being chanted, a strange phenomenon occurred in the skies. Spiritual chi of heaven and earth gathered as clouds began their descent from above. The heavenly imperial palace appeared in midair with celestial maidens dancing on it. Seeing such an exchange between mortals and celestials, one couldn't help but immerse themselves in fascination. Despite the audience, the inheritor of the art was but a mere monkey. Witnessing this, others couldn't help but feel envy and hatred, but none dared to let even the slightest hint of annoyance slip through their expression. At that moment, the master and disciple took their roles, one chanting while the other listened. It was unclear if this was intentional or not, and no one took notice of such menial detail. The monkey floated amidst the occasion, overjoyed. Listening to the subtle chanting, he rolled his head and scratched the back of his ears. He couldn't help but break into a little dance, revealing his innate monkey nature. This technique had 72 transformations, a multiplication of 8 and 9. There was nothing in the world that it couldn't transform into. With a shift of the mind, a cultivator would be able to make corresponding changes, attaining abilities that seemingly matched their body. What is the art of transformation? This is the true art of transformation. The heart monkey could change his spirit but did not possess the ability to make changes to physical appearances. 72 transformations, on the other hand, allowed one to transform into something with utmost precision. It was known to be the first-rate transformation technique across the three realms, having similarities to True Lord Erlang's 8-9 mystic art. If the Grand Great Heavenly Immortal Art was a fundamental classic, then 72 transformations would be the first-rate divine art. The monkey floated in the midst of it, dancing in glee. That was, until a deafening sound boomed from beyond the heavens, shocking him out of his trance. Do you understand now? Ancestor Subhudi sat atop the cloud, looking warmly at the monkey. It was only then that the stone monkey snapped out of it, kneeling on the ground as he bowed. Thank you, Ancestor, for passing on the technique. The Ancestor nodded slightly and spoke no more, his body vanishing before the audience's eyes. With this being the first time he acquired such a mystical technique, he could hardly contain the excitement. Stretching his body, he transformed into a streak of light and disappeared from where he stood. Transform, transform, transform. At the peak of the mountain, a silhouette behind the fog tumbled ceaselessly, its body taking on thousands of different shapes. Light as a bird, a lion roaring through the forest, a dragon cutting through the skies. The heart monkey transformed into anything his heart desired. Since he did not understand the technique previously, he could only transform based on his own abilities. Now that he learned the first-rate transformation technique of three realms, he was like a fish in the water. He mastered it in just a moment, understanding the true meaning of transformation. He had the material and spiritual transformations in his control. With each transformation, he could turn something unreal into reality, and it did not seem to be any inferior to the original. In fact, through the other forms, he gained the essence of life and complement the transformation further, becoming even stronger than the original. Was this the true meaning of transformation? Hidden in the depths of the monkey's heart, what the eyes could see was equivalent to the technique bestowed upon Fong Lin, allowing transformations to appear before his eyes one by one, turning it into his own legacy. This was the greatest treasure in the mythology illusionscape. He was deeply affected by it as he received the divine cultivation experience of ancient times. This was an experience that others could only dream of having. Naturally, Fong Lin did not have any intention of wasting such a precious opportunity. It wasn't long before he unraveled a deeper secret to the art of transformations in his stone monkey form. While art of transformations was capable of combat, it was not its core ability. It was merely a naturally acquired ability from mastering the art of transformations. Rather, the true usage of art of transformations was actually for averting crisis. The world was not a kind place, and every living being was treated like a dog. It was merciless and filled with calamities. The lives of all creatures were worthless. 
Heavenly thunder, fire, flood, plague, every type of disaster could wipe out countless of lives. Yet, despite it all, there was always a glimmer of hope. No matter how miserable life was, it was limitless in its possibility to evolve. Life could adapt to any disastrous environment in order to counter it. The camel in the desert, flood dragons in magma, black tortoise in the frozen land. The world was a scary place, but life would never become extinct. And the true essence of art of transformations was in natural selection, the survival of the fittest. Only living creatures that could adapt to disasters would be able to survive. Art of Transformations tapped on the insight into the fine evolution of living things, and allowed the users the innate ability to adapt quickly to their environment and calamities. Immortal cultivators cultivated against the heavens. That was because immortals had eternal life and lived alongside heaven, and that was something intolerable to the natural laws. Hence, every time one reached immortality, heavenly calamity would be upon them. If they did not survive it, everything, even their chance at reincarnation, would be reduced to ashes. The art of transformations was the first heavenly tribunal art of the three realms that could go against the three disasters, heavenly lightning, e'en fire, and vile wind. Only a true cultivator would be taught it. Before this, the monkey had experienced a great sense of horror during his breakthrough. The world had been sensing activities of chi, and a calamity was about to befall. If one crashed through rashly, then heavenly lightning would fall with no survivors. The monkey only understood the immensity of the opportunity now and was beyond happy. He couldn't help but howl toward the sky. The howling of the ape reached beyond the clouds and echoed through Fangsuan Mountain, attracting countless attention. Boom, boom, boom. Dark clouds loomed overhead. In just a month, the monkey mastered 72 transformations completely and could change as he willed. By now, his body's true origin energy had been increased to the brim. Since that was the case, then why wait any further? The monkey was never a coward. With his confidence at that moment, he did not hesitate and began gathering his true origin energy toward the crown of his head. As his spirit freed itself from the confines of his body, he connected with heaven and earth immediately. The saying, inescapable doom every 500 years, did not refer to the literal number of years but the state attained in practicing Tao. It was just that, according to the usual practice of cultivation, most cultivators would need at least 500 years to sufficiently deal with the inevitable doom. Even so, it differed among people. With the vastness of the world, there were bound to be some monster-level existences who could make leaps of progress in a day and improvements that were comparable to at least a year's worth of cultivation. Lu Dongbin took three years to attain enlightenment, Nizha succeeded in lotus body within a day. True Lord Erlang became battle god of three realms in ten years. All of them had a great reputation. The monkey in front of them was not an ordinary one either. With heaven as his father and earth as his mother, his cultivation in a day was worth more than a year. Even though he practiced for only three years, the monkey's cultivation had long surpassed his peers by a mile. At this moment, strange occurrences to the environment happened immediately as tribulation chi took shape. Wind howled, clouds gathered, and thunderclaps resounded. With the looming dark clouds, Fongsuan Mountain was engulfed in mere moments. As multiple claps of thunder rang out, all cultivators felt the impending doom. The tribulation clouds seemed boundless ahead of them. With the clouds covering the sky, all signs of life diminished as they vanished from sight. So, was this monkey going through the heavenly tribulation? What kind of horrifying tribulation was that? This was simply unheard of. And how strong was this monkey's cultivation? Before this, they were already discontented by the sight of a mere monkey receiving the ancestors' techniques over and over again. It was only now that they realized that every action of the ancestor had deep meaning behind them. Among the people in Fangsuan Mountain, who would possess such astounding cultivation apart from this monkey? Those who were not their kind were sure to be of a different heart. It was inevitable that the human cultivators of Fangsuan Mountain would discriminate against the monkey. 
Yet, even so, they respected Dao the most and couldn't help but be impressed by the monkey at this moment. Boom, boom, boom. Lightning struck down like a divine sword, the god above was furious. Plants, rocks, flowers, all of which were burned. The sight was terrifying. Even so, a seemingly hunched figure began to straighten its back and tilted its head toward the sky. Golden eyes reflected a black spinning tribulation eye. It spun ceaselessly as he let out a devastating howl. Wind and clouds collided and a golden glow gathered. Suddenly, it turned into a heaven-splitting divine sword and struck. The heavenly calamity is upon them. Chapter 502, Demonic Monkey Clearing Tribulation, Part 1 Thunderclouds covered the sky, revealing a black hole in the center. As the dark clouds seethed, from a distance, it looked as if a huge eye was hanging in the middle of the tribulation clouds. Tribulation's Eye Every thunderbolt that cut across the sky seemed like the heaven's fury. Everyone had the feeling that a great disaster was imminent let alone the person that had to go through the tribulation. The tribulation eye spun, and an invisible force was gathering. The monkey stood at the top of the mountain, facing the tribulation clouds alone. It felt as if it had been locked down by invisible auras. These auras were without any foundation or support, but they were impossible to cut. Despite how big the world was, there was nowhere to escape to as everyone had their own tribulation to clear. The heavenly tribulations that cultivators had to go through were impossible to split the burden with. They could only face their own tribulations themselves. If they cleared the tribulation, they'd become celestials. If they didn't, they'd turn into ashes. Come on! The stone monkey's golden eyes appeared determined. Ever since it made the decision to clear the tribulation, it had prepared itself. Boom! As if the opening of the world, a distorted divine thunderbolt came crashing down like a huge axe. It seemed like it had split the world into two and struck out toward the monkey's head. What was an overwhelming calamity? This was it. In that instant, all the hairs on the monkey's body stood up. Its body instinctively sensed the impending danger, and it acted instinctively. Everything took place very quickly. The speed of the thunderbolt was extremely fast, comparable to light speed. At the instant you saw them, they would have already struck. The thunderbolt was as thick as a pillar, instantly drowning the monkey within it, causing it to be baptized by thunder. Numbness, scorching heat, explosions. Every single hair on its body, every piece of its flesh, every one of its cells was shaking intensely. Its body was no longer within its control. Even with its innate stone monkey body, it was still charred on the outside. At that instant, countless cells turned into ashes, being wiped out. In the three realms, sword cultivators had the greatest battle method. With one sword in hand, they could lob off their opponent's head from 1,000 li away. However, the most ferocious killing method was undeniably the thunder art. Under the flying sword, one's body would be disintegrated, but their soul would still have a chance to go through reincarnation. However, Thunder Art was known as Divine Punishment, the king of all arts. It was the most vicious, capable of killing the body and wiping out the spirit. Under the impact of Thunder Arts, all other arts would be wiped out. One's physical body would break down and their soul disintegrated. They wouldn't be able to go through reincarnation and would end up as a pile of ashes. Even in sword arts, the greatest one of all was the heavenly thunder sword technique. All these were just what the monkey had previously heard of. Now that it had personally been shocked by the thunder did he realize how domineering thunder arts were. Its body was charred. Under the impacts of the thunderbolts, even its soul was shaking. Countless thoughts that it had were thrown into disarray. Only then did the monkey recall what the patriarch had said in the past. It quickly held its breathing and focused its mind, stabilizing it. Boom boom boom. The first thunderbolt was like an outburst of floodwater. The auras had been gathered for very long, and now all of them gushed out together at one go. 
even the monkey's shoulders were slowly pressed down for it to assume a hunchback pose. Its entire body was shaking, its golden hair turning charred black. It was as if the monkey had become monkey-shaped charcoal. Such a great activity had long since shaken up the entire Fonsuin mountain. Seeing many streams of purple thunderbolts crashing down like heavy rain, many cultivators couldn't help but feel apprehensive. To think that it's the Grand Mist Purple Thunder? This monkey's foundation is too strong. To think that it has brought the descent of purple thunderbolts. In terms of the cultivation depths, this monkey can be said to be at the top of Fongsuan Mountain. It's just a monkey. How on earth did it gain such deep comprehension within three years? Could it be that it's another battle god in the three realms? Everyone present cultivated in Fongsuan Mountain, a sacred land within the three realms. Putting their cultivation aside, they wouldn't have bad judgment. The Tribulation Thunderbolts had different colors based on their prowess. They were white, red, gold, azure, and purple respectively. White Thunderbolt was the weakest, and purple was the strongest. The Heavenly Tribulation would send down Thunderbolts of a greater prowess based on the cultivator's achievements. To think that the monkey could bring down purple Thunderbolts. Everyone was shocked by this. The monkey, as the one concerned, couldn't be bothered with such trivial matters. It faced the thunderbolts and went through a thorough baptism time and time again. It felt that even its indestructible stone monkey body was starting to melt. This mustn't go on. How did one's body go up against heavenly prowess? One must use skill to obtain victory. Change. With a single thought, the incantation for the 72 transformations flowed in the monkey's heart. The 72 transformations was an interpretation of every existence's essence. Thus, it included the theory behind every mutual reinforcement and counteracting effect on each other. Thunder was domineering by nature, and it could be conducted by metal. A thought flashed in the monkey's mind. Its body immediately changed and a golden color gradually rose from its feet to its head, gradually spreading through its entire body. It didn't take long before it turned into a golden figure. Thunderbolt extended out, weaving in the air like a big net that wanted to encase it. The thunderbolts entered its body from its head, then were rapidly conducted down into the ground. Its body no longer received any damage. However, thunderbolts were domineering while also fine at the same time, heading right for one's soul. The monkey's soul kept on shaking under the prowess of the thunder. Its thoughts scattered and its origin spirit was unstable. If this were to go on, even if its body could hang on, its soul would be disintegrated and it would turn into a living dead. Heavenly thunder was different from ordinary thunder. They had the killing prowess that would reach one's soul. Not only would the body need to change, but the soul would also need to change as well. Turning into a non-living matter wouldn't be able to hold up against the heavenly tribulation. Suddenly, the monkey assessed this. But what kind of living creature could fend off heavenly thunders? Heavenly thunders seethed, each and every one of them possessing great killing prowess. The monkey didn't have the time to think too much. Based on its memories, its body instinctively started to change, stretching out and turning thicker. Very soon, it turned into a monster like a huge snake, with a horn on its head. It roared toward the sky. The flower fruit mountain was situated in the eastern sea. Therefore, the monkey wasn't unfamiliar with the ocean. There was a monster in the seas that was good at controlling thunderbolts. Its body had a unique organ that could create electricity by itself. It was the single horned thunder eel. Its vertical eyes flashed with electric sparks, and its thick body kept on moving and dodging. Its horn also struck out streams of electricity. When they clashed with the thunderbolts, they neutralized each other. However, it didn't take long for the monkey to feel exhausted. There was a limit to one's powers. Although it also had the ability to control electricity, how could it go against the heavenly prowess? It was only then did the monkey understand the true intentions behind using the 72 transformations to avoid heavenly disasters. 
the emphasis wasn't in fighting against it, but in avoiding it. There was no end to disasters, and living creatures evolved with time and place, adapting to the environment. What kind of living creatures would be able to adapt to the heavenly thunder? This was the problem. How domineering were heavenly thunders? Without a doubt, once such a living creature was to appear, it would definitely be a divine creature. Such a living creature had an extremely high life tier, and it was hard to transform into it. However, the monkey wasn't concerned. It was born by the heavens and nurtured by the earth. The heart monkey wasn't inferior to dragons, phoenixes, kirins, or other divine creatures. Which of them weren't born the way they were? Dragons and phoenixes, black tortoises, double pupil birds, and many other divine beasts appeared in its mind. Which of them had the ability to dominate over the prowess of heavenly thunder? Even though the three realms were big, divine beasts were born by the essence of heaven and earth. Their races and numbers weren't great. That's it. Very soon, the monkey got its answer. It opened up its arms, and many sword feathers that were like sharp pricks appeared. They radiated light as if they were made from glass. Z Z Z. Streams of fine thunderbolts shot out, flashing with sparks, rapidly amassing to form a ball of electricity. Roar. A loud cry that pierced through the clouds rang out. It was sharp and crisp and rang for a very long time. With a swoosh. A huge bird figure shot toward the tribulation clouds, its tail feathers that were like purple streams of flames trailing behind it. It was a bird draped in lightning, with a purple body that was radiating an auspicious and dignified aura. It had a feather crown on its head, its eyes gleaming with its inborn pride. It came to the world to stand above many living creatures. Dragon gave birth to nine children, prison ox, Yazi, Chiwen, Wan. Phoenix gave birth to nine children, Blue Lawn, Peacock, Golden Rock. And one of them was the Thunder Bird. With the exception of the peacock, all the others are mythical beasts. Chapter 503, Demonic Monkey Clearing Tribulation, Part 2 The Thunderbird was also known as the Thunder Phoenix. The Phoenix had nine children, with all of them different and possessing different abilities. The Blue Lawn had a wood attribute. It was a Kunlun divine bird and had a long lifespan. The peacock was draped in divine light that was divided into five colors. It was capable of brushing through everything. The golden rock spread its wings and could move rapidly unrestrained through the three realms. The thunder bird, true to its name, was a phoenix that was born while bathed in thunder. It would never land on mortal ground in its life, and it lived to pursue thunderbolts. The monkey transformed into the thunder bird and immediately felt very different. It broke free from that brilliant heavenly prowess, removing the greatest restriction on its body. It was like a fish in the water, a flood dragon entering the seas. Screech! The thunder bird let out a long cry, spreading its wings and flying high up. Each sword feather on its body shot out streams of electricity. They gradually gathered into a ball of lightning, charging into the sky. Dark clouds seethed. Very soon, an electric figure could be seen darting to and fro amidst it, dispersing all the dark clouds. The thunderbolts that came crashing down were turned into light and dissipated the moment they came into contact with the sword feathers. As if sensing that the one having the tribulation was using such a method to avoid the calamity, the tribulation clouds seethed and became increasingly violent. The tribulation eye was gradually filled up by a stretch of purple light. Endless streams of thick thunderbolts that were like pillars came crashing down. However, no matter how much seawater there was, was it possible to drown a whale? The thunderbird bathed in lightning roaming freely and appearing very relaxed. Bang bang bang. The thunderbirds spread its wings and flew high up, dispersing all of the thunderbolts. Although the heavenly tribulation could cover a huge area and came down with an overwhelming prowess, it couldn't last forever. In the end, it gradually showed signs of dissipating. Was the thunder tribulation over? Phone Lin watched this scene silently. Even the monkey, who had never known fear, 
couldn't help but feel relieved at seeing the heavenly tribulation dissipating. The art of transformations was really the best method to avoid the tribulation. It allowed one to freely turn into a myriad of forms. Out of so many, there had to be one form that could adapt to the prowess of the heavenly tribulation. However, the transformations couldn't be used freely either. The cultivator's true origin energy would be constantly worn down. If it continued for too long, the pressure on the monkey would be tremendous as well. However, before it could take a breather, an overwhelming amount of red light shone down from the sky, dyeing the entire earth in red, as if everything was on fire. The monkey raised its head and looked over. It saw that the endless stretch of dark clouds had turned red, as if there were ten suns in the sky. However, there wasn't any scorching heat, but a shady aura that permeated the world. Boom. Suddenly, huge balls of flames came crashing down as the clouds split apart. The heavens split. The flames came down like rain, dyeing the entire sky in red. Many huge balls of flames came crashing down, evaporating the water vapor. All the grass and trees lost their green color, turning into chars. The thunderbird let out a long cry, bringing along thunderbolts that seemed to have turned into many electric snakes. They were slithering rapidly in the sky, crossing each other's paths. However, the rain of flames was too densely packed, turning the world into a red color. This flame wasn't any ordinary flame. It was Ean Fire. Born from gathering all the world's Ean energy, turning them into flames. There was nothing it couldn't burn, and everything that belonged to the five elements was completely incinerated. The monkey had only gotten a little bit closer, and its golden hair was turned into ashes. The thunderbird's feathers were soon completely burned. It became a bare, featherless bird. Thunder and Fire Attributes Previously, the thunderbird had roamed freely during the thunder tribulation. However, right now, under the flames, it was like a roasted chicken. Moreover, the flames weren't just any ordinary flames. They were extremely domineering yet had a strong, shady characteristic. If they darted into one's body, they would permeate to the cells, wanting to roast up the body from the inside out. It would start burning from the Yongquan acupoint and reach all the way to the Naiwen Palace. Wherever the flames passed by, all lives would be lost and all flesh would dry up. Organs would be burned into ashes and one's limbs would rot. It would rapidly dissipate the true origin energy in one's body, throwing the person's hard work and cultivation over 1,000 years into vain. It seemed that it would still need to go through another transformation. After having gone through one tribulation, the monkey had gained experience. It knew that the prowess of the heavenly tribulation was far from ordinary, and ordinary transformations wouldn't cut it. Only the rare few divine beasts in the world would be able to handle the prowess of the heavenly tribulation. What was it still waiting for? The monkey let out a long cry. Immediately, strong flames appeared on its body, presenting a purplish-red color. There weren't any impurities, only the purest flames in the world. This was the bright south life fire. Screech. Another cry that was similar to that of the thunderbirds rang out. A firebird rose, covered in colorful feathers, and had a rosy crown. The moment it appeared, endless auspicious auras permeated out. This was the spirit of the south, the vermilion bird. Looking at the annihilative flames, the vermilion bird let out a joyful cry and plunged toward them. In the sea of flames, a bird was roaming freely in a relaxed manner. It kept darting about within the sea of flames, as if it was soaking in a bath. Even the monkey could sense a different kind of benefit. The vermilion bird was the spirit of fire. The Ean fire was rapidly absorbed by the vermilion bird, quickly replenishing the origin chi it had lost. Using the powers of the heavenly tribulation to nurture the body. What kind of means was this? There would never come a time when its powers were depleted. No matter how ferocious the heavenly tribulation was, the monkey wasn't afraid to continue dragging out the situation. No matter how strong the heavenly fire was, there would still come a time when it got depleted. 
In the end, the flaming clouds in the sky gradually dissipated, revealing a clear sky. The air was very refreshing. The many cultivators in Fongsuan Mountain heaved a huge sigh of relief. The descent of the heavenly fire earlier on was far too terrifying. It made every onlooker had the feeling that an impending disaster was falling. However, as the one concerned, the monkey didn't let down its guard this time around. It understood now. It was born to be a spiritual creature, and its cultivation progress moved tremendously by leaps and bounds. Right now, its cultivation level was getting increasingly deeper. The three heavenly tribulations that others would have to deal with every 500 years ended up coming all at once. The chain reaction of the three great tribulations, with one having a greater prowess than the one before, magnified the total prowess by more than three times. If the monkey hadn't learned the 72 transformations, it wouldn't be able to tide through them. The heavenly thunder and in fire had passed. Then, the next one would be the third tribulation, the vile wind. However, ever since the in fire dissipated and the dark clouds scattered, there were no signs of anything taking place at all. Just as the monkey was feeling perplexed, it suddenly felt a great chill. A cold wind blew by, appearing out of nowhere. It blew into its six organs and heading straight for its dantian. It immediately felt intense pain all over, and its nine apertures started to rot. Its flesh and bones started to wear down, and its physical body broke down at a rapid speed. This was an expected calamity. This wasn't an ordinary wind. No one knew where this wind came from, nor where it was headed to. However, it had an astonishing corrosive power. Everything would be worn down and wouldn't last for long. It was because of this that a wind like this had no cause nor effect. It was impossible to find its source either. Once it locked onto the monkey, there was no avoiding it. The monkey could only face it head on. Even with the body of the vermilion bird, under the wind's corrosive powers, it was gradually breaking down. The bright south lifeire scattered everywhere, scorching many shocking holes into the ground. If this were to go on, it would be eroded by the wind. The monkey started to think rapidly. Dragons come from clouds and tigers from wind. At the next instant, as it shook its body, a series of strong gales blew, encompassing it within. Thereafter, a huge tiger jumped out. It had wings on its back and raised its head to roar. Strong gales trembled and all beasts calmed down. This was the western jangmetal white tiger, one that controlled all wind in the world. Once that vile wind entered the white tiger's body, it was immediately neutralized by the white tiger force. However, this extraordinary wind came on fiercely, and simply digesting it took some great effort. The monkey went all out to fend it off and was instantly thrown into a tight situation. The vile wind blew, and even the air started to become distorted. Even with the white tiger's body, it was unable to break out from the wind circle. Waves of auras permeated out, dissolving, breaking down, and neutralizing each other. The monkey couldn't afford to care about other things and immersed in it. Only God knew how long had passed by when it suddenly felt that its body had turned light. It was only then did it discover that the turbulent wind had dissipated. The monkey was struck by realization and understood that it had cleared three calamities in one go. A stream of chi rose from the depths of its body. It was extremely pure, a combination of yin and yang, bearing a resemblance toward tai chi. This was celestial chi. Receiving the nurturing from celestial chi, its origin spirit immediately grew stronger rapidly like an inflated balloon. Its senses became very sharp as if everything in the world was within its senses. There were differences between celestials and mortals. With one step, it had forever become a member of the celestials. After going through several decades, crossing the four great oceans and five continents, it had finally achieved it after experiencing great hardship. The monkey was exhilarated and it raised its head to let out a long cry. Its voice resonated in the world. Having broken through its bottleneck, all the spiritual chi of heaven and earth moved according to its will, gathering together. 
As the monkey gathered the essence of heaven and earth, its celestial aura grew stronger at a rate that could be seen by the naked eye. In the Bodhi cave, Patriarch Subhuti sat on the lotus platform, pinching a flower and smiling slightly. Chapter 504, 18,000 Li What was a celestial? To be immortal, having the same lifespan as the world. Even if the world is falling apart, I won't be. Even if the world is in crumbles, I won't be. Taking one step forward, forever drawing a distinct line between celestials and mortals, no longer required to go through the agonies of the secular life. After leaving the flower fruit mountain, crossing mountains and seas, traveling across the four continents and five oceans, living in the secular world. Even with the stone monkey body, it had still encountered several dangerous situations, narrowly escaping death. It went through great effort to become a disciple at the Fonsuin Mountain but was undermined by its fellow martial brothers. Strong feelings of gloominess had long since settled down in its heart. After three years of tough cultivation, it had finally attained the Tao. Having succeeded within a day, the monkey stood at the top of the mountain, feeling exhilarated and proud. It couldn't help but let out a long cry toward the sky, as if wanting to release all the suppressed and accumulated gloominess in its heart, no longer feeling any more restraints. The long cry resonated through the mountains, and everyone could tell that it was overjoyed. Their expressions were complicated, with that of admiration, astonishment, jealousy. No one held any underestimation toward him anymore. Phone Lin stayed in the depths of the monkey's heart and had also gained great comprehension. He had witnessed the process in which the monkey had gone through a transformation from being ordinary to becoming a celestial. Witnessing this experience was as if he had also gone through the same cultivation path, going through hardship and cultivation, having the same feelings, attaining the Tao. All these experiences turned into his strength, pushing him to a greater realm. A little bit it's just a little bit away. With just one more step, Fong Lin was confident that attaining a breakthrough to the elite adept realm would no longer be a difficult task. As the monkey broke through its bottleneck, the spiritual chi of heaven and earth rapidly gathered over, gradually forming a majestic scene. A huge monkey origin spirit appeared. The moment it did, it materialized into a physical state, seeming to have the prowess to support the world. Its golden vertical eyes illuminated the world, and it emitted esteemed and ethereal auras. Initial phase of the refining spirit, returning to the void, middle phase of the refining spirit, returning to the void. As expected of a creature loved by the heavens and earth. The moment it attained a breakthrough, it immediately gained the prowess of the heavens and earth. Its cultivation improved tremendously, and its origin spirit strengthened. The heart monkey force encompassed the surroundings, turning into a massive domain. With the change of its will, lightning flashed in the world. Wind clouds, thunder, and lightning gathered, creating many strange scenes. A single thought brought rise to a myriad of arts. The true origin energy in the monkey's body had now been turned into celestial chi. Using it, the prowess of the monkey's arts would be more than ten times stronger than they previously were. After venting out for a while, the monkey calmed down. When the monkey's martial brothers in Fongsuin Mountain saw that it had such prowess upon attaining a breakthrough, their countenances were complicated. However, no one dared to disturb him and all of them quickly left. After the monkey had finally become a celestial and vented out, it didn't act recklessly. Instead, it stayed on the mountain to stabilize its cultivation. It was only until one day. Patriarch Subhuti was personally imparting his teachings to his disciples in front of the Three Stars Cave. Suddenly, the Patriarch spoke up, has Wukong achieved success? Although his voice wasn't very loud, it spread out very far, entering the monkey's ears clearly. The monkey suddenly opened its eyes. With a flash of golden light, it leaped into the sky and cowed out to the Patriarch. Thank you master for the great grace in imparting me teachings. Disciple has now achieved success and can now ride the clouds. The patriarch smiled. Then show it to me. The monkey shook its body and leaped up. Immediately, clouds formed under its feet, 
propping up its body. With a slight somersault, it traveled three to five li, so fast that there was no trace of it to be seen. Although cultivators didn't lack flying arts, they tended to make use of treasures or magical techniques. In order to fly using just one's own body required the achieving of the light and agile celestial body. The monkey's great achievements made many people feel envious. The monkey flew in the air, did another somersault, and returned. The clouds propped up its body, allowing it to move freely in the sky without any restraints. The moment the monkey landed, it went up to the patriarch, crossed its arms, and said proudly, Master, see, I can already ride the clouds. The patriarch shook his head and smiled. Monkey, don't be proud. This isn't considered riding the cloud yet. It can only be considered to be crawling on the clouds. There's an ancient saying, to travel the world in a single day. At your speed, you are only able to travel for three li in half a day. It can't even count as crawling on the clouds. When the monkey heard that, it was instantly surprised. It had thought that it had become a member of the celestial considering that it could now ride the clouds with its physical body. However, the patriarch was saying that it had just been crawling on the clouds. What kind of person was the patriarch? Why would he lie to it? The monkey's eyes rolled and it dropped to the ground, cowed out and asked, I plead for master to tell me what it means to travel the world in a single day. The patriarch stroked his beard and smiled. You're really studious. All right, I'll tell you. Those who can ride the clouds start traveling in the morning from the northern sea, pass by the eastern sea, western sea, southern sea, and the places beyond them. Do you understand what it means now? One can only be considered to have mastered the ability to ride the clouds, a method of rapid traveling in the three realms, if they could travel all the places beyond the four seas in a day. The moment Wukong heard that, yearning grew in its heart. How big were the lands across the four seas? It had traveled the seas before, spending several decades. But now, it would be able to travel across the four seas within a single day. What kind of scene was this? The monkey's heart was filled with great yearning just at the thought of it. However, it knew that it wouldn't be able to accomplish this by its abilities alone. The monkey kowtowed and said sincerely, Master, when we help a person, we need to help them to the end. I hope that you can show great benevolence, imparting me with the technique to ride the clouds. I'll definitely not forget the great kindness. The patriarch said, You're really funny. All right. All celestials have to stomp on the ground to rise and ride the clouds, but it wasn't the same for you. You had to struggle a little to jump up. Based on your stance, I'll impart you with that somersault cloud, thought. Wukong bowed and pleaded again. The patriarch imparted him with an incantation and said, You need to invoke the incantation, then clench your fists and shake your body. Thereafter, if you were to jump up, a somersault will take you 18,000 li away. Seeing that the monkey had been imparted with another art, everyone secretly felt envious. However, the monkey had already become a celestial before them, so it was normal for it to be imparted with great arts. Regardless if it was heartfelt or not, in the presence of the patriarch, they still went up to congratulate it, saying, Congratulations to Marshal Senior Wukong for gaining enlightenment. The monkey's cultivation was high and it was also very intelligent. It bowed back toward them without showing any expression on its face. No matter how everyone secretly felt, nothing happened on the surface. Seeing this, the patriarch also secretly nodded. When the sky turned dark, everyone left in succession. The monkey stood at the top of the mountain chanting the incantation and started to circulate the art. Fong Lin also tried to feel it carefully. The greatest benefit from the mythology illusion scapes was that one could personally experience the cultivation process of mythological characters, learning their cultivation experiences and comprehensions. Right now, he could sense that the celestial chi in the monkey's meridians was accelerating quickly. Very soon, they reached an extreme realm, with all the powers gathered to a great limit. This theory seemed very similar to particle beam weapons. 
Was this the true profoundness behind the somersault cloud? Was it as expected that all great Daos led to the same path? Fong Lin entered deep in thought. The monkey stomped down suddenly, and the celestial chi under its feet shot out like a rocket, pushing its body into the sky and accelerating to a great limit. With a somersault, it instantly turned into a series of golden light, shooting out at lightning speed. Traveling 18,000 li, roaming through the world freely. Very soon, a series of loud and proud laughter resonated through the three realms. Who was the one who mastered a great art? Has another remarkable character appeared in the three realms? It's rare that one is able to move so rapidly across the three realms. Which immortal manner did they come from? Immortal mountain secret realms, cave wonder realm, end of the world, and deepest depth of oceans. Countless people woke up from their cultivation. They either felt greed, went deep into thought, or had great respect. However, that golden light was extremely brilliant, and its speed was extremely fast. It flashed past the sky in the blink of an eye, and there were only a few people who could see the true figure that was wrapped up by the golden light. Chapter 505, Hard for the Heart Monkey to Settle Crossing 18,000 Li with a Single Somersault The monkey rose from the ground, seeming as if it had turned into lightning, moving rapidly like shooting stars. It roamed through the world in an instant, going wherever it wanted to. It was an unprecedented sense of exhilaration. Riding the somersault cloud, the monkey only felt that it was breaking free from an invisible restraint. The world was very big and it could go wherever it wanted to. The mountains, rivers, seas, continents. There was no longer anything restricting it. This was the true meaning behind immortal cultivation. One reason was for longevity, to gain a long lifespan. Another reason was for freedom, to be free and unrestrained. The monkey really felt very free. It raised its head and cried out toward the sky, looking down on the mountains and rivers, looking up at the stars in the sky. It felt free. The somersault cloud was as swift as lightning, disappearing in the blink of an eye. It was only then did the monkey realize how foolish it was to be so proud previously. Compared to its current state, the speed it was moving at previously wasn't even comparable to that of a tortoise. The patriarch wasn't wrong to say that it was crawling on clouds. It secretly felt ashamed, but also felt great joy that it had mastered the great art. I have the somersault cloud. I can go wherever I want to. Roaming the world. The world is big and free for me, Ola's son, to roam about freely. Having obtained longevity and cultivated invincible art, the monkey felt that its dream had been fulfilled. It was really a wonderful life. Wonderful, life was really wonderful. The monkey kept on howling, as if wanting to release all the gloominess accumulated in its heart. The greed that had been lurking for a very long time rose in its heart. The monkey suddenly felt that the world was below him, and that no one within the three realms could restrain him. He had attained immortality, mastered incredible battle arts and seventy-two transformations. Moreover, he also gained a flying technique, the somersault cloud. It could go up to the sky and down into the ground. There was nothing it couldn't do. Fong Lin hid deep in the monkey's heart and naturally noticed this. Ancient cultivation mentioned, a wavering heart. This was really true. No matter how calm one's mind was, if they received enough shock and disturbances, great turbulence could rise. The monkey had been through many rounds of tempering previously, and it had tempered its heart to maturity. However, after attaining immortality and his dream of longevity, it lost the fear toward death. Many thoughts that had laid in dormancy in his heart floated up once again. This somersault brought it very far away. The icy ocean in the northern sea, the snowy mountains, the deep abyss of the seas. Traces of the monkey could be found everywhere. Roaming the seven seas and four regions in a single day, the monkey knew not what restraint was. It returned to Fonsuan Mountain only after it had its fun. It then continued to stabilize his cultivation. One day, a voice rang out from the distance while the monkey was meditating in seclusion. 
Is it Marshall Jr. Wukong in front? Hearing that a person had called its name, the monkey opened its eyes to take a look. They were the fellow Marshall brothers who hadn't cared about it and even mocked it previously. Right now, all of them came over, wearing smiles, behaving unlike how they previously had done. The person in the lead laughed and said, Marshall Jr. Wukong, are you cultivating the Grand Fate art? Have you learned the transformation art to evade the three calamities that Master had imparted to you? His tone was filled with admiration. Hearing that, the monkey's eyes rolled and it felt very proud. I won't hide this from Elder Marshall Brother. Firstly, Master had imparted me with this, and secondly, I had also worked hard in my cultivation day and night. I've already learned those. What a great comprehension level this monkey had. Everyone secretly mumbled in their hearts, feeling both envious and wary, but didn't show anything on their faces. They chipped in, you've already mastered them in such a short period? I don't believe you. If you dare, you should show it to us. I haven't seen such an amazing technique before. What an inferior attempt to goad it into making a move. Fong Lin watched this scene coldly. However, since the monkey had already attained immortality, it no longer suppressed its own innate character. It had received a lot of cold glances from its martial brothers. It intentionally said, this should be how things are done. I'd like to request for martial brothers to come up with a topic. What do you want me to transform into? Everyone exchanged a glance. Then change into a pine tree. The monkey chanted the incantation and changed into a pine tree. It was extremely beautiful and tall that it seemed to shoot up to the clouds. When everyone saw that, they instantly clapped and laughed, praising it. Good monkey. Good monkey. You are able to turn into a pine tree that reaches the clouds, but can you change into a ferocious tiger that roars in the jungle? Asked someone else. That's simple. The monkey smiled proudly, and in an instant, a big tiger with slit eyes stood on the spot, covered in stripes. It was majestic looking. Everyone continued to shower it praises again. The 72 transformations is really amazing. That's of course. The monkey returned to its original form, feeling very proud. This is the great art that the patriarch had imparted to me. It's not something that ordinary people would be able to learn. Seeing that its fellow martial brothers who used to mock him were now treating it so warmly, the monkey felt very proud. Change into a flying bird next, said everyone. The monkey felt very happy and wanted to show off, giving everyone a surprise. It instantly turned into a flaming phoenix, soaring high up in the sky and crying out. <laughs> A celestial-looking old man that was sitting on the platform opened his eyes to see through everything. He saw a monkey outside the cave, showing off. Flowers, birds, fish, insects, beasts, rocks. It kept on transforming, earning many praises. The patriarch instantly sighed. A heart monkey's heart truly was hard to settle down. Once it got proud, it would become arrogant. The patriarch understood that Wukong was a heart monkey, a condensation of the ruthless aura from the heavens and earth, born out of a stone. Its temperament was the hardest to settle down. It had previously encountered many difficulties before its temperament had been tempered to become smooth and calm. However, now that it had attained immortality, the monkey's true nature rose. It was time. The patriarch nodded, having made his decision. Who is creating a ruckus here? He let out a deep bellow and walked out of the cave. When everyone saw that they had disturbed the patriarch, they quickly tidied their clothes and headed over. The monkey also reverted to its original form. It mingled amongst the crowd and grinned as it said, reporting to the patriarch, we're here having an exchange of our arts. We weren't creating a ruckus. Seeing that the monkey was still trying to go on with the glib talk, the patriarch was instantly enraged. You guys are shouting here, not keeping up the appearance a cultivator should have. When cultivators speak, their spirit dissipates. Speaking gives rise to disputes. Why are you guys creating a fuss here? 
Everyone quickly said, we don't dare to hide from master. Earlier on, Sun Wukang was performing stunts. When we told him to turn into a pine tree, he really did. We were all cheering and praising him. We seek for master's pardon for having created a ruckus and disturbed you. When the monkey heard this, its eyes opened wide and it instantly felt that something wasn't right. These people were the ones who had asked it to put up a demonstration. Why did it sound like the problem was with it now? It was still too inexperienced. Feng Lin secretly shook his head. Although this monkey was very intelligent, it had been cultivating in the mountains for an extended period and gradually forgotten about the shrewdness of the human heart. However, this was a part of the monkey's cultivation to begin with. He didn't think too much of it and just quietly watched on from the side. You guys can leave, the patriarch spoke up, allowing his other disciples to take their leave. Seeing that the monkey still wasn't accepting this, he secretly shook his head. This monkey's character is naive and violent. It hasn't even realized that it had been used. It seems that this is the end of its cultivation in Fongsuan Mountain. It'll have to gain experience in the three realms before it can gain further comprehension. However, this monkey was extremely talented and capable. The day would come when it would get into trouble. The patriarch hoped that it wouldn't affect the Fongsuan Mountain's serenity. Therefore, he would have to think of a solution. Thinking about this, the patriarch instantly bellowed out, Wukong, come over here. Why were you using your arts and transforming into a pine tree? The 72 transformation is a great art and is something for you to establish a standing in this world. How can you show it off before other people? Who wouldn't be jealous? If others see that you have something, they'll definitely beg you for it. If you are afraid of trouble, you'd have to impart them, but if you don't, they'll definitely harm you. You won't be able to assure your life. The monkey realized that the patriarch was truly infuriated when it heard this. It quickly cowed out, I seek for master's pardon. The patriarch saw that it still didn't repent, he shook his head and said, I won't blame you. You can leave Fongsuan Mountain. The monkey panicked, its eyes filled with tears as it said, Why does master want me to go to? The patriarch said, You can go to where you came from. It was only then did the monkey understand what the patriarch said. It said, I came from the Flower Fruit Mountain's water curtain cave in Pervavidaha's ally country. When this thought arose, it was hard to erase it. It had left for several decades and it was missing its hometown. The monkey couldn't help but wonder how the monkeys in the Flower Fruit Mountain were faring. At this moment, the patriarch warned it strictly once again, you'll definitely harbor ill intent after you leave. It doesn't matter how much trouble or havoc you create, but you aren't allowed to say that you're my disciple. If you were to say a word of it, I'll skin you and file your bones, diminishing your soul to the nine abysses. I'll make sure that you'll never be able to get another chance to escape the calamities. The patriarch was enraged and sent out endless dignified auras. The monkey shivered and felt downcast. It seemed that the patriarch really can't stand me anymore. I'll leave. I'll leave. It quickly said, I'll definitely not mention a word about master. I'll just say that I learned my arts myself. After saying that, the monkey once again cowed out and thanked the patriarch for his teachings. It then stood up, turning into a series of golden light and heading for the eastern sea. Not long later, an island formed from spiritual chi that was on the boundless seas appeared before its eyes. There were flowers that wouldn't wither through the seasons, and fruits that would never fall from the trees. It had arrived in the flower fruit mountain. It seemed that the monkey's cultivation had reached an end here. A hint of comprehension rose in Phone Lin's heart, and his will flew up. Breaking the illusion scape. This was the key to attaining a breakthrough. If he were to take this step, he'd become an elite adept. Chapter 506 Chaotic World's Demonic Monkey Gene. Add point. Cultivation gene plus one, plus one, plus one. After waking up from his meditation, Phone Lin's eyes gleamed with golden light, illuminating a stretch of golden light onto his surroundings. 
Having added points for two consecutive times, waves of hot currents gushed out from the depths of his body like molten lava. They were as scorching as fire, and his life vitality grew stronger at a speed that could be seen by the naked eye. They even distorted the void. Fong Lin's own body temperature emitted out, rapidly heating up the air, forming waves of hot currents. Even light rays had become distorted. The AI in the room kept on releasing warnings. The temperature had already exceeded 1000 degrees Celsius, forming a steaming domain where it was difficult for life to survive. Right now, Fong Lin sat cross-legged amongst it, immersing in the profound changes to his body. Name, Fong Lin. Vitality, 138,000. Ho Tian Jin, Sun Wukong Jin X10, Cultivation Jin X10. Heaven Jin, Monkey King Jin X10, Dao Heart Jin X10. Genetic Potential, 16,180. The Sun Wukong Jin and Cultivation Jin had both been added to the max, fulfilling the criteria for evolving into an elite adept. The Grand Cultivator's cultivation had finally been perfected. A powerful vitality of over 100,000 points was an inhuman change, bringing about endless powers. Fong Lin now felt as if everything in front of his eyes appeared exceptionally frail. Space seemed to be like a room that was made of papier-mâché. He only needed a gentle touch for everything in front of him to shatter. Fong Lin felt that his condition was unprecedentedly good. He had been prepared since a long time ago. Since both his body and mind were both in the optimal condition, what was there to wait? Mythological Gene Evolution Sun Wukong Gene X10 plus Cultivation Gene X10 equals Chaotic World Demonic Monkey Gene. He focused his heart, and the genetic map was clearly presented before his eyes. Two massive golden stars shone brightly like inextinguishable ancient stars that hung up in the starry sky. Under each golden star, there would be countless branching streams like tree branches. They each had their own evolution paths and profoundness, and they formed two unique genetic tree branches. Sun Wukong Force, Cultivation Instincts One was powerful and remarkable, the other affecting the essence of life. Fong Lin used his will to control two mysterious genetic power, integrating them together. Two stars flickered slightly, unleashing brilliant starlight. The massive golden stars intertwined to form two brilliant streams of stars that were then merging into one spot. They overwhelmed the entire starry sky and extended out toward the depths of the sea of stars. The darkness receded. He passed by many dark stars and continued to head forward until he finally arrived at the end destination for this trip. An ancient star unraveled the dark veil on it, presenting itself to the world. The starry river surged into it, like a myriad of birds returning to the forest yet also like the currents that flowed into the Pacific Ocean. They channeled endless energies into the dark star. Dong dong dong. It twitched powerfully like a beating heart creating tremors in the void. A huge star lit up, turning from a concealed state to gradually revealing its true appearance. It became a sun that scattered out endless light and heat. The entire dark starry sky was lit up, eternally immutable. A strange message flowed out. Gene, chaotic world demonic monkey gene. Grade, perfect grade Xiantian gene. Strengthening tally, 1. Ability, jumping out of the three realms, not within the five elements. Perfect grade Xian Tian Jin. He had walked down on the Sun Wukong mythological path all this way and had been unrivaled amongst other genes of the same grade. It was the same for the chaotic world's demonic monkey gene. Once awakened, it was the perfect grade, at a stage where further progress was impossible. What was a Xian Tian Jin? Xian Tian was what that was born before the world was born. When the world was first formed, heavenly laws hadn't been formed. There was nothing to regulate all lives, and everything in the world was new. Lives that were born in this era tended to be born as divinities, possessing great prowess and wielding majestic heavenly prowess. They held immeasurable prowess. The chaotic world demonic monkey was a collective term for the chaotic world monkeys. 
There were four types of them, and they were all born in the Xiantian era. They were few in numbers and said to not fall under the ten types of creatures. The chaotic world monkeys were the spiritual stone monkey, six-eared macaque, tangbi ape, and the crimsonback macaque. They each possessed different abilities. However, there was one common trait that the four monkeys shared as Xiantian spiritual creatures. It was jumping out of the three realms, not within the five elements. The four monkeys were born with the characteristic of transcending all creatures, and weren't under the restrictions of the heavenly laws. They had limitless lifespans and weren't affected by divinations. In the past, the six-eared macaque had fought against Sun Wukong, but even the many celestials in the three realms couldn't see through their arts. Only Buddha Lord Tathagata, who was able to go against the river of time and see through the past and present lives, had been able to differentiate the two monkeys' true forms. There were many mysterious things about them, and they were really unrestrained across the three realms, being able to jump out of life and death. Name, Fong Lin. Vitality, 201,000. Xiantian Gene, Chaotic World Demonic Monkey Gene X1. Hotian Gene, Sun Wukong Gene X10, Cultivation Gene X10. Genetic Potential, 1890. Brand new vitality statistics were displayed before him. Once he became an elite adept cultivator, his vitality shot up from 100,000 points to 200,000 points. Reaching an extremely terrifying number. Each realm was a totally different world. With each step of progress, interstellar cultivators would seem to undergo a complete transformation. Their life level would leap tremendously to an inestimable height. A vitality of 200,000 points wasn't as simple as having the lives of 200,000 ordinary people stacking up together. It was power, speed, agility. All sorts of basic attributes in all aspects rose, with each aspect rising by 200,000 times. Under the multiplication effect, Fong Lin could freely massacre 1 million or even 10 million people. How was it possible for a single person to go up against 1 million? This was it. Then what ability did the chaotic world demonic monkey gene represent? Jumping out of the three realms, not within the five elements? Fong Lin sank deep into his heart, sensing the essence of the gene. Under the penetration of the heart monkey force, the flesh and blood, bones, cells, everywhere was invaded by transcendent forces. The cells gradually turned into a strange state that was neither material nor energy, yet was both material and energy at the same time. Dual Properties of Matter and Energy Fong Lin had a faint feeling that he had come into contact with some kind of extremely profound and mysterious law of the universe the intrinsic conversion of matter and energy. Fong Lin breathed in deeply, feeling that he could sense everything in the universe's space, and every cell in his body would move with his breathing. Faint talismans were floating within, they moved with his spirit and changed as he willed them to. A series of comprehension suddenly rose in Fong Lin's heart. The heart monkey force suddenly extended in all directions like many invisible tentacles that pierced into the universe's space. It was stirring up the laws and moving without any restraints. Everything took just a single thought. Suddenly, with a single thought, his palms opened and a miracle instantly took place. A pure light that wasn't piercing to the eye radiated out from his palm. It was as if a white lotus flower was slowly blooming, showing the world its great beauty. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, various basic elements in the universe were born from chaos, gathering together rapidly and going through reassembly from the microscopic level. Fong Lin focused his gaze. He saw a pure white lotus flower in his hand that was emitting a pleasant fragrance. All of this was real. There was no lightning or thunder, no crackling flames, no flashing light or hurricanes. Everything happened silently. What that looked like a small lotus flower had actually sprouted out of nothing. This already involved the universe's origin creation laws. Could this be the truth behind jumping out of the three realms, not within the five elements? The power of spirit force to materialize things. Chapter 506, Chaotic World's Demonic Monkey Gene 
add point. Cultivation gene plus one, plus one, plus one. After waking up from his meditation, Fong Lin's eyes gleamed with golden light, illuminating a stretch of golden light onto his surroundings. Having added points for two consecutive times, waves of hot currents gushed out from the depths of his body like molten lava. They were as scorching as fire, and his life vitality grew stronger at a speed that could be seen by the naked eye. They even distorted the void. Fong Lin's own body temperature emitted out, rapidly heating up the air, forming waves of hot currents. Even light rays had become distorted. The AI in the room kept on releasing warnings. The temperature had already exceeded 1000 degrees Celsius, forming a steaming domain where it was difficult for life to survive. Right now, Fong Lin sat cross-legged amongst it, immersing in the profound changes to his body. Name, Fong Lin. Vitality, 138,000. Ho Tian Jin, Sun Wukong Jin X10, Cultivation Jin X10. Heaven Jin, Monkey King Jin X10, Dao Heart Jin X10. Genetic Potential, 16,180. The Sun Wukong Jin and Cultivation Jin had both been added to the max, fulfilling the criteria for evolving into an elite adept. The Grand Cultivator's cultivation had finally been perfected. A powerful vitality of over 100,000 points was an inhuman change, bringing about endless powers. Fong Lin now felt as if everything in front of his eyes appeared exceptionally frail. Space seemed to be like a room that was made of papier-mâché. He only needed a gentle touch for everything in front of him to shatter. Fong Lin felt that his condition was unprecedentedly good. He had been prepared since a long time ago. Since both his body and mind were both in the optimal condition, what was there to wait? Mythological Gene Evolution Sun Wukong Gene X10 plus Cultivation Gene X10 equals Chaotic World Demonic Monkey Gene. He focused his heart, and the genetic map was clearly presented before his eyes. Two massive golden stars shone brightly like inextinguishable ancient stars that hung up in the starry sky. Under each golden star, there would be countless branching streams like tree branches. They each had their own evolution paths and profoundness, and they formed two unique genetic tree branches. Sun Wukong Force, Cultivation Instincts One was powerful and remarkable, the other affecting the essence of life. Fong Lin used his will to control two mysterious genetic power, integrating them together. Two stars flickered slightly, unleashing brilliant starlight. The massive golden stars intertwined to form two brilliant streams of stars that were then merging into one spot. They overwhelmed the entire starry sky and extended out toward the depths of the sea of stars. The darkness receded. He passed by many dark stars and continued to head forward until he finally arrived at the end destination for this trip. An ancient star unraveled the dark veil on it presenting itself to the world. The starry river surged into it, like a myriad of birds returning to the forest yet also like the currents that flowed into the Pacific Ocean. They channeled endless energies into the dark star. Dong dong dong. It twitched powerfully like a beating heart, creating tremors in the void. A huge star lit up, turning from a concealed state to gradually revealing its true appearance. It became a sun that scattered out endless light and heat. The entire dark starry sky was lit up, eternally immutable. A strange message flowed out. Gene, chaotic world demonic monkey gene. Grade, perfect grade Xiantian gene. Strengthening tally, 1. Ability, jumping out of the three realms, not within the five elements. Perfect grade Xiantian gene. He had walked down on the Sun Wukong mythological path all this way and had been unrivaled amongst other genes of the same grade. It was the same for the chaotic world's demonic monkey gene. Once awakened, it was the perfect grade, at a stage where further progress was impossible. What was a Xian Tian gene? Xian Tian was what that was born before the world was born. When the world was first formed, heavenly laws hadn't been formed. There was nothing to regulate all lives, and everything in the world was new. 
Lives that were born in this era tended to be born as divinities, possessing great prowess and wielding majestic heavenly prowess. They held immeasurable prowess. The chaotic world demonic monkey was a collective term for the chaotic world monkeys. There were four types of them, and they were all born in the Xiantian era. They were few in numbers and said to not fall under the ten types of creatures. The chaotic world monkeys were the spiritual stone monkey, six-eared macaque, tangby ape, and the crimsonback macaque. They each possessed different abilities. However, there was one common trait that the four monkeys shared as Xiantian spiritual creatures. It was jumping out of the three realms, not within the five elements. The four monkeys were born with the characteristic of transcending all creatures, and weren't under the restrictions of the heavenly laws. They had limitless lifespans and weren't affected by divinations. In the past, the six-eared macaque had fought against Sun Wukong but even the many celestials in the three realms couldn't see through their arts. Only Buddha Lord Tathagata, who was able to go against the river of time and see through the past and present lives, had been able to differentiate the two monkeys' true forms. There were many mysterious things about them, and they were really unrestrained across the three realms, being able to jump out of life and death. Name, Fong Lin Vitality, 201,000 Xiantian Jin, Chaotic World Demonic Monkey Jin X1 Hotian Jin, Sun Wukong Jin X10, Cultivation Jin X10 Genetic Potential, 1890 Brand new vitality statistics were displayed before him. Once he became an elite adept cultivator, his vitality shot up from 100,000 points to 200,000 points. Reaching an extremely terrifying number. Each realm was a totally different world. With each step of progress, interstellar cultivators would seem to undergo a complete transformation. Their life level would leap tremendously to an inestimable height. A vitality of 200,000 points wasn't as simple as having the lives of 200,000 ordinary people stacking up together. It was power, speed, agility. All sorts of basic attributes in all aspects rose, with each aspect rising by 200,000 times. Under the multiplication effect, Phone Lin could freely massacre 1 million or even 10 million people. How was it possible for a single person to go up against 1 million? This was it. Then what ability did the chaotic world demonic monkey gene represent? Jumping out of the three realms, not within the five elements? Phone Lin sank deep into his heart, sensing the essence of the gene. Under the penetration of the heart monkey force, the flesh and blood, bones, cells, everywhere was invaded by transcendent forces. The cells gradually turned into a strange state that was neither material nor energy, yet was both material and energy at the same time. Dual Properties of Matter and Energy Foam Lin had a faint feeling that he had come into contact with some kind of extremely profound and mysterious law of the universe the intrinsic conversion of matter and energy. Phong Lin breathed in deeply, feeling that he could sense everything in the universe's space, and every cell in his body would move with his breathing. Faint talismans were floating within, they moved with his spirit and changed as he willed them to. A series of comprehension suddenly rose in Phong Lin's heart. The heart monkey force suddenly extended in all directions like many invisible tentacles that pierced into the universe's space. It was stirring up the laws and moving without any restraints. Everything took just a single thought. Suddenly, with a single thought, his palms opened and a miracle instantly took place. A pure light that wasn't piercing to the eye radiated out from his palm. It was as if a white lotus flower was slowly blooming, showing the world its great beauty. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, various basic elements in the universe were born from chaos gathering together rapidly and going through reassembly from the microscopic level. Phong Lin focused his gaze. He saw a pure white lotus flower in his hand that was emitting a pleasant fragrance. All of this was real. There was no lightning or thunder, no crackling flames, no flashing light or hurricanes. Everything happened silently. What that looked like a small lotus flower had actually sprouted out of nothing. 
This already involved the universe's origin creation laws. Could this be the truth behind jumping out of the three realms, not within the five elements? The Power of Spirit Force to Materialize Things Chapter 507, Jumping Out of the Three Realms, Not Within the Five Elements Small white lotus flowers appeared out of nowhere, radiating glows. Materializing things out of nowhere based on one's mind. Phone Lin sank into a series of comprehension. In the past, his spirit force could go through endless transformations, and there was nothing it couldn't do. However, it was still restrained within the universe's regulations. He could only create things with forms but couldn't get involved in the intangible domain. He could change into anything, but he still needed to abide by the law of energy conservation. And the materialization of the spirit force was different. The idealistic force was able to break through the materialistic regulations. A small little lotus symbolized the heart's desires, having the authority to create things out of nowhere. Change. 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 A thought arose in his heart, bringing forth endless ripples. With a single thought, his spirit force gushed out. The white lotus flower suddenly started to spin rapidly, and the sixteen petals bloomed. Straight after, a purple flame bloomed from the center of the lotus. Golden light also radiated, and a pure ball of gold was refined from the flames. It was stretched by an invisible force, turning into a small sharp and compelling golden sword. Strong cold auras seeped out from the sword, causing the air to condense into fog-like vapor. The vapor nourished the land, and green grass broke out from the land, growing strongly. Metal, wood, water, fire, earth, the five elements formed a cycle that reinforced and counteracted each other. The changes took only a single thought, and all five elements were within his grasp. Phone Lin's eyes gleamed with a mysterious light and he felt as if his spirit had broken through some kind of invisible restraints. He felt unrestrained and could do as his heart desired. Spiritual Stone Monkey was one of the chaotic world monkeys. The characteristic of jumping out of the three realms, not being within the five elements, merged together with the heart monkey force. They broke through the universe's regulation and could freely assume transformations. Regardless of the living creature in the universe, even if it was a powerful one that was born to be able to freely roam the universe, they would still be restrained by aging and illnesses. However, right now, Phone Lin had a faint feeling of breaking through some kind of life boundaries, no longer being restricted by them. However, this was such a delusion formed from the evolvement of life quality. Phone Lin clenched his fist and the illusion scape was destroyed. The five elements broke down, turning into the most basic particles and scattering out. They emitted astonishing radiations. An intense feeling of fatigue rose in his heart. Any changes were an eruption from an accumulation, slowly changing in terms of quantity to quality. It wouldn't be something that could be achieved with a single step. Right now, the strengthening tally for the chaotic world demonic monkey gene was only one. It was impossible to completely break through from the universe's restraints. It was like how he was only capable of neglecting physical restriction and casually converting between the five elements. He was still very far from creating objects, and even further from being able to create lives. Moreover, it took even more effort to achieve changes through breaking the universe's regulations compared to making changes within the regulation's limits. It was just a simple change, but he already found it hard to manage. His only choice was to continue to cultivate. As the chaotic world demonic monkey gene continued to strengthen, his ability to materialize and create things would become stronger. He would be able to reverse the five elements, creating things out of nothing. When the gene was maxed out to ten points, it wouldn't be impossible to reach the authority of being able to create life. Great skill. Fong Lin started thinking about it. The prowess might not appear great from the appearance. However, the greatest characteristic of mythological genes lay in their endless possibilities. It involved the origin source of the universe in the area of creation. The meaning behind it was even more profound. 
Even though the universe was very vast, the endless space-time distance also obstructed the footsteps of people's probings. Rare resources were very limited, especially the special cultivation resources for interstellar cultivators. If one were to grasp the art of creation, as long as they had sufficient spirit force, they would be able to create things out of nothing, no longer restrained by any external factors. This might be another meaning behind jumping out of the three realms, not within the five elements. There were four important aspects of ancient cultivation terms. They were wealth, companion, law, and earth. If the spirit could materialize, then the a wealth, being one of the four aspects, could be fulfilled. As the authority to create things gradually grew, it would reach the domain of creating life, and the other three aspects could be met as well. If a cultivator could arrive at this stage, the cultivator would be able to break free from the universe, forming a world for himself. The person could be said to have achieved divinity. After familiarizing with the chaotic world demonic monkey Jean's abilities, Foam Lin's gaze then turned onto mythological genes again. On the genetic map, there was a river of stars forming a bridge in the starry sea, connecting three golden stars together and forming a triangular structure. Sun Wukong Gene X10 plus Dao Heart Gene X10 equals Chaotic World Demonic Monkey Gene. The triangular gene evolution structure started to climb up from the basic gene at level zero. A big and majestic tree was formed. Then what was the path that was going to take place? The genetic sequence of different level genes was very compact and logical, and there was the profoundness of the universe's essence in the genetic sequence. Level 4 was the Ho Tian gene, level 5 was the Xian Tian gene, level 6 was the chaos gene. Before the world was born, everything was in chaos. It was said in the ancient era, before the universe was born, everything was in a state of chaos. Space-time and laws had all lost their meanings. Amongst this, the lives that continued to survive, possessing great prowess from the moment they were born, were known as the Chaos Fiend Gods. At a later time, the universe was created and the Chaos Fiend Gods attained Tao in succession, turning into the stars in the universe, all things in the world, as well as countless lives. Celestial gene led straight to Great Tao. Then the Chaos genes were what allowed cultivators to pursue the path of the Chaos Fiend Gods, returning to the origin. The derivations of mythological paths required using the mythological stories as leads, studying the growth and experiences of the mythological characters to slowly make derivations. Foam Lin had long since guessed his own cultivation path and didn't have many perplexities. He immediately started making his derivations. He made the assumption that the level 6 gene of the Sun Wukong path was the horse protector gene. Thereby, he started making derivations with the data he already knew about the Sun Wukong gene. However, the unexpected thing was that the genetic equation didn't change at all. His potential also didn't show any signs of reducing. Hmm. It isn't working. Phone Lin was surprised that such a situation had happened. His derived path was wrong and the genetic equation couldn't be activated to perform the derivation of the gene evolution path. Then the problem came up. What was the gene after the chaotic world demonic monkey gene? Foam Lin recalled the mythological story. He had thought that it was the horse protector gene, but it seemed that it wasn't the case. Although it was a celestial position, it wasn't recognized. Therefore, it wasn't considered to be amongst the celestial ranks. After all, the heart monkey was born as a demonic monkey and wasn't accepted by the mainstream celestials. It could only be accepted through showing its real strength. Then undoubtedly, the level 6 gene of the Sun Wukong mythological path would be what Foam Lin had been yearning for a very long time, the Great Sage equal to Heaven's gene. After obtaining this comprehension, the genetic map in Foam Lin's body instantly moved. The star clouds in his dantian that symbolized the genetic potential gushed out. Things were working. The reduction of his genetic potential showed that his derivation was correct. Genetic potential minus 1200, minus 1200, 1200. 
his potential reduced at an explosive rate. With the chaotic world demonic monkey gene as a starting point, a clear path of gene combinations appeared before his eyes. As usual, the Sun Wukong mythological path was a paragon mythological path, possessing a unique characteristic. At each level, there could only be one genetic formula, the one and only. Feng Lin looked over and a brand new genetic formula appeared before his eyes. Chaotic World's Demonic Monkey Gene X10 plus Dao Fruit Gene X10 equals Great Sage equal to Heaven's Gene. Chapter 508, Creating Havoc in the Heavenly Palace, Standing Equal to Heavens. Chaotic World's Demonic Monkey Gene X10 plus Dao Fruit Gene X10 equals Great Sage equal to Heaven's Gene. 10 was the perfect stage. This seemed like a familiar equation. The genetic equation moved at a rapid speed. Every mythological gene was bright like the stars in the sky, hanging high up. The stars formed a majestic river of stars that charged head-on into the depths of the universe, unveiling the mysterious fog. Many massive stars sat there, shining down with endless domineering auras. The starlight emitted an unrestrained feeling. Although it was still very weak, there was a strong feeling of being untamed, having an unbridled will that ignored the world's regulations. It was as if no existence in the universe would stand above him. The great sage equal to heaven's gene, attaining divinity and achieving the Tao fruit, creating havoc in the three realms, standing equal to heavens. These two lines might seem very simple, but they gave a prediction to the future cultivating path. The chaotic world demonic monkey turned from a demonic monkey into a battle god, great sage equal to heavens, renowned in the three realms. It wasn't something that had been achieved within a single step. Undermined by the other celestials and banished to handle the horses as the horse protector, the demonic monkey first overturned the eastern seas, gaining the divine weapon, the golden cudgel. It then made its way to Hades, teared up the book of life and death, and then created havoc in the heavens. It stole the golden pill and gained the invulnerable Vidra. The demonic monkey came all this way, unbridled and unrestrained. In the end, it made its name in the three realms, causing all the gods to view its existence straight on. It attained the Tao fruit and called itself the great sage equal to heavens. The chaotic world demonic monkey was an existence that jumped out of the three realms, not within the five elements. It wasn't under the world's control, ignored all regulations, and had the ability to create things out of nothing. Then what realm was the great sage equal to heavens at? Feng Lin couldn't help but have a yearning feeling, however, he also found it hard to imagine. Before reaching the realm, everything was just guesses and would just be in vain. Feng Lin didn't give it much thought. The path was already right before him. What he needed to do was to just take steps slowly. Compared to the countless cultivators in this era who still had great difficulty in searching for their own mythological path, Feng Lin had a complete mythological inheritance and was considered to be lucky. Therefore, there wasn't any need for him to be too anxious and greedy. He only needed to take steps in succession, and he'd eventually be able to see the supreme treasured spot that headed to divinity. Genetic Potential Minus 11200 As his cultivation progressed on, just deriving this genetic formula depleted over 10,000 worth of his genetic potential. Feng Lin's gaze locked onto the other Xiantian gene on the genetic equation. Gene, Dao Fruit Gene. Grade, Perfect Grade Xiantian Gene. Strengthening Tally, Zero. Ability, 1,000 years of cultivation leading to fruition, thereafter becoming aligned with the Tao. As expected, this was another perfect grade Xiantian gene. There wasn't much information revealed, but the meaning behind them caused one's imagination to roam. In the ancient cultivation context, cultivators went against the heavens. Only by attaining fruition in Tao would they be able to stand independently beyond the universe. With a Tao fruit in their Dantian, their prowess would be within their bodies, and they would have a world of their own. Could the ability of this Tao fruit gene be to condense one's cultivation into a Tao fruit? If that was the case, then his abilities would be highly condensed, forming a qualitative change and evolving to a new level. 
it was true to its name of being a perfect grade. The Tao fruit gene itself might not have too great prowess, but the increment to the other aspect of life was extremely great, reaching to another level. The great Tao as one. The Tao fruit was that one. How should it be integrated? Any branch on the gene evolution could be assembled and could undergo evolution from the simplest basic gene. The Xiantian gene was a level 6 gene, and it would need to evolve 6 times from the basic gene. Feng Lin depleted the genetic potential and started to derive the genetic formula in reverse with the Tao fruit gene as his goal. His genetic potential decreased tremendously like floodwaters breaking out from a dike. It was gushing down and fully channeled into the genetic equation. Genetic potential minus 500, minus 500, dash 500. A Xiantian gene evolution formula once again depleted over 5,000 genetic potential, and he finally obtained a new formula. In the genetic map, using the Tao fruit gene as the starting point, the genetic formula extended downward, connecting the two dark stars. Tao fruit gene equals Tao cultivation gene X12 plus golden pill gene X8. This was a Xiantian gene that could only be formed with two Hotian genes. Each of their prowess was extraordinary, and they had their own abilities. Gene, Tao cultivation gene. Grade, perfect grade Xiantian gene. Strengthening tally, zero. Ability, myriad of tempering, deep and profound Tao cultivation. The universe is within my grasp. Gene, golden pill gene. Grade, Perfect grade Xiantian gene. Strengthening tally, zero. Ability, a golden pill swallowed into my stomach. My life is controlled by me and not the heavens. These two genetic abilities had their respective differences. The Tao cultivation gene was a gene that sorted out one's own cultivation, storing one's abilities over the years. The longer the time, the greater the prowess. Although it was a type of reinforcing gene, it could increase the other gene's power in folds and be very terrifying. The golden pill gene was also a reinforcing gene, but its ability was another variety. In the ancient era, the golden pill was a product of the body, mind, spirit, and essence. It could greatly raise one's vitality and increase one's lifespan. Based on the above description, with the strengthening of the golden pill gene, it would be able to increase Fong Lin's lifespan for 100 years each. After maxing it out, one would be able to get 800 years of lifespan, reaching the degree of Ping Zhu's lifespan, breaking through the limits of human life. It was really as what the golden pill gene's contents said. A golden pill swallowed into my stomach. My life is controlled by me and not the heavens. Excellent. Fong Lin was secretly elated. To a living creature, lifespan was the most fundamental thing. Otherwise, no matter how powerful one's strength was, even if they could break the stars with a single punch, it'd only be fleeting. Being strong at one moment, but still eventually couldn't break away from the fate of turning into part of the soil. The golden pill gene was able to strengthen the vitality from all aspects. Putting aside how strong his prowess was, if the news of him having the ability to increase his lifespan were to spread out, many aristocrats, wealthy merchants, and tycoons in the interstellar space would go crazy. They would do all they could in order to obtain the method of awakening the golden pill gene. Feng Lin continued to derive the continuation paths. These two were Xiantian genes and would continue to extend downward later on, until it reached the lowest basic gene. Each one of them presented an upside-down genetic tree that split up into many parts, with each step representing a tier. The higher one's cultivation, the greater the number of genes would there be in the cultivator's body. Genetic potential minus 120 minus 120 120. As the potential continued to be depleted, the two dark stars that were derived continued to extend downward again, connecting two dark stars. The dark stars went down one more level, continuing to extend. There was a total of four levels, forming a complete and extremely compact gene evolution path. The first level was the Xiantian gene evolution sequence. Then the second level would be the Hotian gene evolution sequence. 
The formula was as follows. Dao cultivation gene equals basic Dao gene X10 plus meditation gene X9. Golden pill gene equals mental gene X9 plus Qi and blood gene X9 plus physique gene times 9. The third level was the heaven gene evolution sequence. Basic Dao gene equals cornerstone gene X9 plus Qi training gene X8. Meditation gene equals epiphany gene X7 plus visualize gene X10. Mental gene equals Qi and blood gene equals Physique gene equals The fourth level was the transcendent grade gene evolution sequence. The fifth level was the primeval gene evolution sequence as well as the evolution sequence for the basic gene at the lowest level. The genetic sequence at each level had their respective differences, each of them displaying a complete path from leading from mortal to divinity. Chapter 509 Dao fruit gene. With the Dao fruit gene as the pinnacle that extended downward, it went through six levels of evolution and formed a chunk of genetic tree branch that was parallel to the chaotic world. Demonic monkey gene. The two genetic sequences were like two towering trees that advanced together toward the clouds, heading toward divinity. With each chunk the genetic tree progressed, it symbolized that it wasn't far from arriving at the eventual ultimate path. In the interstellar era, compared to wealth, authority, or enjoyment, great strength was the greatest achievement since it came from the person themselves. Small seedlings could grow into towering trees. Even ordinary people could reach the heavens. How great would this achievement be? This was the great strength behind mythological genes. Fong Lin sensed the transformation to his life and took in a deep breath of air. He felt waves of powers gushing out from his body, as if they were endless. In order to awaken the Dao fruit gene, Fong Lin would have to start working from the lowest basic gene. Different gene evolution had different conditions. So it was also a work that required a lot of effort. Just deriving them to the basic genes would require Fong Lin to deplete over 6,000 genetic potential. After repeated usage, there were only 14,280 genetic potential left. The heart monkey asked about the Tao, but Fong Lin no longer had any doubt about cultivation. With a single thought, his genetic potential reduced rapidly. Genetic potential minus 1000, minus 1000, dash 1, 0, 0, 0. Basic gene awakened, primeval gene awakened, transcendent grade gene awakened. With sufficient genetic potential, he broke through the realms and gained rapid improvements. Many dark stars lit up, gradually connecting and forming a river of stars that crossed the outer space. Streams of hot currents gushed out from Fong Lin's body, and his bones crackled like a roaring thunder. His vitality also surged rapidly with the addition of the genetic points. His energy heated up the surrounding air to the extent that the air became distorted. Mental gene awakened. Plus one, plus one, plus one. Physique gene awakened. Plus one, plus one, plus one. Qi and blood gene awakened. Plus one, plus one, plus one. Every time the gene was maxed out, the genetic formula would activate automatically. Streams of starlight separated from the golden stars, weaving together and forming streams of heavenly river that extended out toward the dark starry sky. Bat hump, bat hump, bat hump. It beat strongly. As the energy from the starlight flowed in, the five bigger dark stars also lit up. Then they strengthened rapidly. Basic Dao gene plus one, plus one, plus one. Golden pill gene plus one, plus one, plus one. Fong Lin had already attained a breakthrough to the elite adept realm. He then turned back to derive the genetic sequence in reverse. Everything went through smoothly, without any barriers, and the evolution took place rapidly. Dao cultivation gene X12 plus golden pill gene X8 equals Dao fruit gene. In the end, the massive golden star that was on the same level as the chaotic world demonic monkey gene illuminated the dark night, flashing brightly. Bang bang bang. It twitched strongly like a heart. The moment the star appeared, it immediately rested amongst the starry sky, looking down on the rest of the stars. 
It was like a sovereign seated on a divine throne, looking down on the rest. The glow from the two ancient stars intertwined. Right now, Fong Lin's life attributes had already gone through a huge change. Name, Fong Lin. Vitality, 310,200. Xiantian Gene, Chaotic World Demonic Monkey Gene X1, Dao Fruit Gene X1. Hotian Gene, Sun Wukong Gene X10, Cultivation Gene X10. The awakening of another Xiantian Gene instantly pushed Fong Lin's vitality to a brand new height officially breaking through to the 300,000 threshold. Fong Lin opened his eyes slowly and instantly felt that things were very different. The Dao fruit gene flashed. He felt as if all the genetic power in his body was rapidly gathered together, condensing from the formless fog into a highly condensed liquid. This wasn't all. Suddenly, the gene origin source that was in a liquid state started to circulate rapidly and form a shiny, round solid state. It presented a perfect sphere that radiated a brilliant and pure glow. It was the size of a fist, appearing like a fruit that emitted strong vitality. It was like all of life's essence was condensed together, existing between reality and illusionary. It couldn't be fathomed but yet actually existed. The moment the Tao fruit formed, it was as if it hung up high in the sky, emitting streams of clear light from inside out. It illuminated the human body, not hiding any secrets. Fong Lin was now situated in an extremely strange visionary perspective. It was as if he was God that was looking down at this three-dimensional world from an even higher dimension. The human body, bones, flesh and blood, as well as organs, and even many three-dimensional cells were displayed out like an art scroll. They lay flat on a surface, on display. Every part of his body was seeped through by energy, containing great power. The body possessed a duality, existing between material and energy states. It could freely change between the two states. Looking out at the world, the cell's breathings were connected with heaven and earth, bringing forth endless energy. Everything was within his senses. Breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. The spiritual chi that permeated the surroundings gathered, blowing like strong gales that formed a huge vortex surrounding him. Genetic potential plus 120, plus 120, plus 120. Without needing to borrow any external forces, Fong Lin's cultivation speed had now reached an extremely astonishing state. Every spiritual particle radiated transcendent glow, seeping deep into every cell in his body. They modified the genetic matter, becoming life at an even higher dimension. The cultivation continued, and the evolution was like turbulent tides, which came on incessantly in waves. The Tao fruit gene was stimulated and started to take in the surrounding spiritual chi like an invisible vortex. Fong Lin's entire body felt as if it was bathed in a spiritual chi tempest. The spiritual chi was penetrating from his pores and spread to every nook and cranny of his body. The heart monkey force expanded out, and there was nothing it couldn't change into. Wherever it encompassed, all the spiritual chi of heaven and earth would be in his wield. A fierce commotion broke out on the 9,000th level of the heaven-reaching pagoda. All the spiritual chi was drawn over by an extremely dominating power, not leaving the slightest bit behind. A cultivating desert was formed. What's happening? Where has all the spiritual chi gone to? The spiritual particle level is at zero? How are we supposed to cultivate like this? What are the heaven-reaching pagoda's administrators doing? Many cultivators walked out from the heaven-reaching pagoda, breaking into a commotion. Every level in the heaven-reaching pagoda was as big as a city, and they were quite far from each other. Everyone raised their heads and they could see the spiritual chi in the air blowing like a strong tempest, gathering majestically toward one spot. It was as if there was a bottomless black hole there, crazily engulfing the spiritual chi, having no limit at all. The range of this vortex was extremely big, encompassing a massive domain. It was hard to find out who was the one behind this within a short period. At this moment, Fong Lin was immersed in his cultivation and couldn't stop. He had enough genetic potential and he immediately added the points. Name, Fong Lin. 
Vitality, 410,200. Xiantian Gene, Chaotic Worlds Demonic Monkey Gene X2, Dao Fruit Gene X2. Hotian Gene, Sun Wukong Gene X10, Cultivation Gene X10. Genetic Potential, 21,000. After the Chaotic World Demonic Monkey Gene and the Dao Fruit Gene had been both strengthened to 2 points, his vitality also attained a breakthrough to 400,000 points. How was its real prowess? Before the interstellar cultivators discovered his existence, he had already headed for the 9,001st level of the heaven-reaching pagoda. There were still 1,000 levels, and he wondered how long it would take to completely clear the heaven-reaching pagoda. Phone Lin thought to himself. Ten days. No, three days at most. Chapter 510, First Battle Between Elite Adepts It's starting. It's starting. What's starting? That Lin Feng, who is a Paragon Phase Master in Spiritual Control is starting to challenge the Heaven Reaching Pagoda again. 9000th level and above is already a domain that only Elite Adepts can enter. Could it be that he's thinking of clearing the Heaven Reaching Pagoda in one go? Let's go and take a look. Spirit type mythological genes have abnormal prowess, and only a few of its cultivators could reach an extremely high level. We mustn't miss out on the chance of seeing such a magnate's demonstrations. We might even be able to comprehend some profoundness behind spirit type mythological genes. A commotion broke out within the heaven reaching pagoda. Similar conversations were being held everywhere, with many excited voices ringing out. It was because the rest of the pagoda was 9,000th level and higher. Cultivators who could reach this level were all elite adepts. It was very rare to encounter battles at the elite adept realm. Elite adepts had mythological forms and were existence on the demigods level. They had broken away from transcendence, and every one of them could be said to be a great power in the universe. How could they possibly miss out on such an exciting encounter? The news spread out like rapid fire, and countless gazes looked over. At the 9001st level, the place was filled with seething voices. Let us welcome, Spirit Slayer Lin Feng. This time around, his opponent would be the boss on the 9001st level, God of Strength Cleese. As the host bellowed loudly, loud cheers rang out in the arena. Fight! 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 God of strength, smash this kid who doesn't know any better into meat paste. You're invincible. Lin Feng, go for it. The spirit is supreme and unrivaled. This is so exciting. It's a battle between two counteracting mythological abilities, the mind and the strength. Who will win? Of course, it'll be God of strength who'll win. What he awakened is the western God of strength's mythological path. He can release the mythological form of the God of Strength, using strength to crush everything. He's said to be invincible. That remains to be seen. Lin Feng's spirit force hasn't been defeated until now. It's still unsure who will be the one emerging victorious. What did you say? Bickering broke out amidst all the no's. However, as the person in question, Feng Lin's countenance was very indifferent. He stood on the spot and quietly adapted to the environment. This was an environment with super strong gravity. The place was filled with mountain ranges and huge boulders. The gravitational strength reached 30 G. This meant that anyone standing on it would need to constantly be subjected to 30 times their own weight. It placed huge pressure on the bones and organs in the human body. If one's cultivation was insufficient, their bodies would be pressed into meat paste from their own weight just by standing here. Boom boom boom. A huge sound as if the earth was moving and the mountains were trembling broke out. Even the earth was trembling. Phone Lin looked over and saw that a mountain was moving over from the distance. After taking a careful look, he realized that there was a person under the mountain. The person was carrying the huge mountain on his back, all the muscles on his body bulging up. As he walked, he would leave obvious footprints, releasing loud thuds. 
The mountain was 100 zhangs tall, and its weight was at least several hundred thousand tons. Under 30 times the usual gravity, such a massive weight had clearly broken through over 10 million tons. It was beyond anyone's imagination. An overwhelming aura surged over from the distance, causing the world to shake. Even the air seemed to have been solidified, making it hard for the spectators to breathe. Feng Lin's gaze turned solemn in that instant. Clank! That person suddenly raised his head, his gaze flashing past at the speed of lightning. His messy hair revealed his inner wildness. He had a tall nose and deeply indented eye sockets. The muscles on his body were like blocks, and he was like a marble statue from Greece of ancient earth. It was as if he was a god that came down from Mount Olympus, the home of the gods, into the mortal world. That pair of eyes stared at Feng Lin. They were so sharp that they seemed to want to penetrate his entire body thoroughly. Roar! At the next instant, he let out a deep bellow and his arms swelled up. With a deep breath, he tossed the huge mountain in his hands over. As the huge mountain with a height of 100 zhang came pressing down, an extremely great shadow also came encompassing down. It was crashing down with an overwhelming prowess, wanting to crush the challenger who didn't know any better into pieces. It was good that he had come. Feng Lin wasn't scared at all. His body grew with the wind, and he turned into a giant with a height of 100 zhang. Heaven Earth Law Manifestations his fists that were the size of small mountains smashed out fiercely. Boom. Boom. Two thunderous explosions rang out. Sparks splattered from the fists. The mountain collapsed, breaking down into crumbling rocks that smashed into the ground, releasing loud thuds. Ka ka ka. A distinct crack appeared, as if an invisible axe had slashed down. The mountain was split into two. Roar. A series of loud cries rang out. Dong dong dong. It was just like the sound of stifled thunderous claps, as if the thunder god was strongly hitting against his big drum, causing the world to tremble. The spectators watching felt as if their hearts were going to jump out from their chests as well. Feng Lin lowered his head and saw that a person had come over, stepping on the air. He had used such tremendous strength that each time he stomped down on the air, he would form clear footprints on it. The boss on this level was a cultivator who was known as the god of strength Cleese. However, Feng Lin hadn't expected that this guy's strength would reach this degree, being able to rely on pure strength to stomp down on the air and slowly ascend. Boom! The god of strength's muscles were strong like rocks. As he punched out, space would become distorted. The distortions in the air formed material fist prints, which rushed out to attack Feng Lin. Feng Lin didn't dodge but punch out as well. How could he possibly be scared in a competition of strength? So what if he was against Greek god of strength, Heracles? The spiritual stone monkey was capable of transformations, could discern the weather, familiar with the geography, and possessed extraordinary capabilities. With its extraordinary capabilities, how could its strength be weak? Dong. The two powerful fists clashed. An explosive sound wave rang through the air. It was like strong gales were blowing dust up into the air. Feng Lin's Heaven Earth Law Manifestation's physique retreated three steps. Klee's rolled in the air, flying out like a spinning top. In this clash, both of them were evenly matched. The moment they separated, they immediately went at each other again. Bang bang bang. One of them had a huge body, each move extremely heavy, causing the earth to crack and heaven to collapse. One of them had a short and small body that seemed as if it had been forged by diamond and couldn't be shattered. Neither of them gave in, thus, they kept on sending their punches at each other. With each move, sparks would splatter. The surrounding audiences exchanged glances. If it wasn't because the fist prowess had the terrifying effect of destroying mountains and rocks, they would have thought that they were watching a battle between two ordinary martial arts practitioners. It was supposed to be an exchange between elite adepts, but they were sending only strong punches. It gave an agitated and indescribable feeling. 
Only people with a good eye for things could tell how dangerous the battle was. Just the repercussive waves from their attacks were already very terrifying. If they were to experience it personally, how terrifying it would be. They would probably be hammered to the extent that there was nothing left to them. Every punch struck out fiercely, hitting on the opponent's body. Layers of strength penetrated through the skin and deep into the body, causing their internal organs to tremble. Both of them felt bummed, but neither of them retreated. Instead, they pounced forth even more fiercely. Good, keep it coming. This feels good. Fong Lin hadn't expected to meet such a tough opponent in his first battle between elite adepts. Such a battle of fists was something that suited him more. Each time they collided fiercely, it was a tempering of their respective bodies. Fong Lin had just attained a breakthrough, and his body hadn't completely adapted to the tremendous leap in his vitality. After the repeated collisions, he felt as if his body was being burned in molten lava. He was rapidly adapting to the changes in his body, slowly turning them into his own actual power. 12 Stances of the God of Strength The battle was drawn out and the God of Strength was glaring fiercely as if flames were burning in his eyes. He put up a rustic stance, like a god waving the huge hammer in his hand. He released a majestic aura that encompassed Fong Lin's entire body from a far distance. At the next instant, he suddenly struck out. One punch shattering Nemean Lion. The air condensed, and an explosive sound suddenly rang out and then disappeared, leaving behind only an aerial barrier that could be seen. The punch he had struck out smashed through sound barriers and was rapidly accelerating. Fong Lin had just felt happy over this attack when, at the next instant, the fist arrived right before his eyes, as if wanting to break his skull. The fist force was very powerful and overwhelming, coming on incessantly. There was no dodging it. This wasn't an ordinary punch. It was an actual divine punch. Nemean was the son of giant Typhon and snake demon Echidna. When human and monster fell in love, Nemean fell from the moon. He was a beautiful treasure that the heavens had bestowed to this couple. His family called him Little Any Little No was in fact half human and half monster. In the day, he was a ferocious lion, his fur shining in the color of the sun. At night, he would turn into a human, a young man with blonde hair and blue eyes. This was a demonic lion who would choose the people it engulfed. It brought harm to the world, and there wasn't anyone who could restrain it. In the end, the god of strength was the only one who had stepped forth, killing it with his bare hands. Right now, this punch reappeared in the world, instantly putting Fong Lin in great danger. An elite adept cultivator who was half human half god. Which person at this realm wasn't a proud genius of the universe? The prowess of this punch was extremely terrifying. Even Fong Lin felt tremendous danger. At the very last moment, Fong Lin suddenly dropped his body. Fong Lin struck an uppercut out that seemed to have appeared silently, but it was extremely skillful, filled with greatly concealed powers. That divine punch of Cleese was struck at the wrist, its powers intercepted and dissipated. However, the repercussive impacts hadn't dissipated and Cleese's balance was thrown off, causing him to fall. By the time he stabilized his body, he suddenly heard a shrill cry and turned to take a look. An ape with silvery white hair stood there, its long hair draping down and its extremely long hands dangling. It kept on hammering its chest, had bloodshot eyes, and bellowed out savagely. Although it was an ape, its mighty strength was truly astonishing. The god of strength could sense a huge threat coming from it along with the excitement to fight, as if it had met its destined opponent that it had been yearning for a very long time. Before he could carefully appreciate this strange feeling, he heard the white ape letting out a cry, using its long arms to perform an upside-down stance and pounced over. Tongue be ape. Tongue be fist.